I don't know if you guys can see, but I think I'm onto a GT. Yeah, it's the one I've been waiting for. Very excited. Oh, you guys probably can't see anything. I'll try to get the camera in the water when it gets a bit closer. That is strong. It's either GT or yellow spot. They've been a yellow spot. They've been around. My Rapala went off through a shoal of bait fish. Alright, so I get to a point where I can see him and then he just keeps beating me up. Ah! There we go. So, I have a feeling this is a GT or a big yellow spot. I'm getting him close now, under the boat. Oh, oh yes, yellow spot, another yellow spot. Yellow spot clingy. These guys are so strong. Let me put him over here. We can check this guy there. Another yellow spot clingy. This one I can at least release. Um, oh, battling with his camera. spot thingy. I've got two snook in the hatch already as well. Uh, release this boy. Oh, you know what guys? This guy's gills are totally ripped open. Unfortunately, there's a second one in a couple of days. I'm unfortunately going to have to take a flip, man. Yeah, oh my word. My, pilot, my flies are just broken. I don't know if you can see there on the. Problem is here. Check. It's gone right through his gills. It's actually ripped open his gill plate here. Oh, wait, let's just have a look here. Might be okay. Actually, this might be okay. I just can't get the hook. There we go. Actually, not bleeding too badly. Let's do a quick measurement. Um, see if it's bigger than my last one. 90 centimeters, so it's smaller than my last one. 90 centimeter fish. There we go. Yellow spot kingfish. And for the release, let's see if I can get the camera to have a nice release here. Actually, revive them a bit. Very, very cool yellow spot. Okay, let's see if he's ready to go. Uh, he's still on his side a bit. Oh, shit, skills a bit. There we go. So it's kick a bit. Let's send him on his way. Off you go. Okay, maybe off he doesn't go. Uh, unfortunately, I've ripped his gills out. His gills got ripped. I'm gonna take him, put him out of his misery. Don't want to leave him for a shock. Hey, another fish on. This is a wild morning. I'll tell you what, wild morning on plastic. I'm for fish number five, and uh, yeah, it's been one serious morning. Fish. This now is out in 24 meters. I'm hoping it's actually a cooter. Didn't pull very nicely, so a bit of a puff pull, but then uh, he uh, turned around afterwards a little bit. Um, yeah, so let's have a look here, see what we got here. Oh, okay, hold sick. Could be another king. Yeah, could be another kingy. I oh, know, it's got that 
you see has a I can feel the tail backing it like a like a mackerel but like that beep 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 like a, you can actually feel the tail hit the line Watching some TV, I yeah, watch. <laughs> uh, that same one I showed you this morning. Big one. Yeah, the big one is what I'm catching on. I caught one on the small one. Okay, let's have a look and see what's watch here. Might be the snook off pretty thick, so. Ew! Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's snook or coot. That's snook or a cooter. I think. Oh, I lost him. <laughs> lost him. Lost him under the boat. Yep. Oh well. Let's go again. Lost. <laughs> <laughs>